Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Rianne. I bring you videos on cruelty-free and vegan lifestyle, beauty, mental health, anything you ask for. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe and stick around and I will sprinkle my social media throughout this video. It's actually been a while since I filmed so I may be rusty. <clears throat> I've also tried something different with the light for this video because I do want you to be able to accurately see. <laughs> my eyebrows. So yeah, if you haven't already gathered, I did have my eyebrows microbladed so I wanted to make a video to kind of fill you guys in on the whole process, the place I went to which was awesome and um, I also tried, I tried to vlog it, I really tried. You know, you think well you just wander around filming yourself, surely. It's so hard to simultaneously live life and be concerned with filming it, like Vlogging is hard. So anyway, I did try and vlog. <laughs> I failed. But what I'm gonna do is sprinkle those clips in throughout this video where they seem relevant or I might just like put a bunch of the dumb stuff at the end of this video. So it's kind of half vlog, half uh, not vlog. So if you are not familiar with microblading, I first wanted to tell you what it is. So I've actually taken this from the website of the studio that I went to, which was Highbrow Studios in uh, Minneapolis. Their FAQ is pretty comprehensive, so I will link that below. Definitely check that out if you have any questions. They've probably answered. So on their FAQ, they said, microblading, also known as eyebrow embroidery, is a procedure categorized under permanent makeup, but unlike traditional cosmetic tattooing, it is less invasive and is considered semi-permanent. Microblading typically lasts one to three years depending on skin type and skincare routine. The procedure is done by a hand tool with ultra fine needles and each hair is gently etched into the skin giving a natural and realistic look. Microblading can dramatically correct or fully reconstruct lost eyebrow and is excellent for those wanting to enhance their brows or who have little to no eyebrows. Thinning brows from age or over tweezed brows. Pigments used are chosen to match the natural or desired brow color and skin tone will also be taken into consideration. So next I wanted to cover why I wanted to get my brows microbladed. I had about eight plus years ago had my brows um, tattooed. What I wanted at the time was hair strokes or microbladed brows but they kind of talked me into basically they just did a bunch of dots to shade my brows. At the time I just didn't know enough to know whether like that was really what I wanted or was that going to work for me and at first I did like them just because I previously had basically no brow because my um, brow hairs are so blonde but then as they faded I kind of realized that the shading they had done wasn't even within my natural brow shape it kind of came down lower and also it really quickly started to fade to a kind of gray green shadow. And some of you guys even said you hadn't noticed it, um, but definitely when um, Ali, who I went to, was looking at my brow, she was like, oh. <laughs> So I kind of just bared with it for, you know, eight plus years and then I realized like if they're if they're still there now They're never gonna fully fade So I either kind of like just leave this gray green shadow in my brows or I could potentially look at getting them Corrected and getting what I wanted in the first place So I've definitely been considering it and then Ali who is one of my like online friends Said that she did it in Minneapolis, which is about a six-hour drive from me But where we are and I'm sure a lot of you guys who live in kind of remote areas like that that drive is really nothing because that's just what you do to get to your nearest Target or whatever you know we do have a closer Target. So I did confirm with her that she used um, vegan and cruelty free pigments that's just something you're gonna have to clarify with whoever you go and see and yeah I just figured it was worth a go so I had the <laughs> grey green old brow dots. I also have very blonde eyebrows and in this brow, yeah, in this brow I have a scar through it so it kind of looks like I've shaved a line through my brow. <laughs> I didn't. So those were my kind of concerns, very fair brows, existing not very good tattoos and the scar as well. So yeah, me and my friend Alexi decided that we would make a trip out of it. She actually won um, a competition that Ali was holding and Alexia had asked me if I wanted to go down with her to potentially get mine done too and it worked out great and we made like a little weekend trip out of it so we just went down to Minneapolis for two days. Yeah I think it's a six to eight weeks. Like 
I'm not filming you, I swear. I'm vlogging. I'm here. We're in Minneapolis. Say it. Minnesota. <laughs> With the Lexi, and we're gonna get some eyebrows. Let's go in. So now moving on to my um, experience there. Ali was so nice and sweet and kind of went over everything in depth and just like made us feel very comfortable. Um, her studio is absolutely gorgeous. I will put in some clips of it now. And even the things I had thought in my head, like, oh, I need to be sure that I mention that my brow hairs are blonde or that I have a scar or like, you know, there was like these things in my head that I thought I need to go through with her, but she kind of already covered them before I even needed to ask. So she was very thorough, definitely explained the process very um, well to us and kind of put us at ease. And then Alexi went first, so I got to watch her get hers done um, first. Alexi has very very full brows. I will link you to her Instagram. So it was kind of interesting to see how Ali worked both with hers and with mine because we have like polar opposite eyebrows. Alexi's are like very full and dark and already have like a good shape to them whereas mine were like, <laughs> you know, struggling. <laughs> Ellie really carefully kind of um, sketched out our brows first just to make sure we were happy with the shape of them and then um, when it actually comes to doing the brows the little tool that she uses is kind of it looks like a blade but I think it's made up of individual needles um, and that dipped in the um, pigment whichever one you choose she kind of like tested a few out on each of us um, is what kind of goes into the cut that she's making so it's it is like a tattoo it's just a different technique like I don't think it goes quite as deep and I think the pigment is also quite different so when she was actually kind of like cutting into the skin with it there were definitely a couple spots where it was like a little eye watering but it wasn't like so unbearable that I wanted her to stop I was just like oh <laughs> spicy and the whole process actually went by really quickly I don't know what I was expecting I think like I was kind of thinking from the couple times I had like eyelash extensions that it would be like it would take forever but I actually don't know how long it took but it went by really fast so she kind of does like an initial run where she kind of carves in the hair strokes and then she puts a bunch of the pigment on that to kind of let it sit and I think that sits on there for about 15 minutes and then she wipes it off and then she does like a second pass through, then puts pigment on it and then you are done. I would say the part that took the longest was just like mapping the brows out and then like sitting with the pigment on. The actual, you know, painful part is very quick. It goes by really fast. Yeah, that was about it really. Just the first run through, let the pigment sit. The second run through, let the pigment sit. And then she kind of wiped them clean. We did before and after pictures too, which I will put some on the screen now. And we were essentially done. So I think then she kind of gave us our little goodie bags uh, with some stuff to like care for our brows and instructions and stuff. So I'll put some clips of that in right now. We're just checking out our little goodie bags. From Ali, so cute. Oh my god, look at how tiny the container is. I know. <gasps> Hang on, could you hold it, please? There we go. Very cute. We've got info card on how to heal your brows. Choco with no allergens. Nope. Not a single allergen. Sweet dairy, peanut, tree nut, egg, soy, fish, shellfish. You think this is grapeseed? Yeah, she said it was grapeseed. Grapeseed oil? Here. Um, I didn't read that. Pat dried, apply a small amount of grapeseed oil to the area. Oh, and then got f***ing Dr. Bronner's in there too. What an angel. Uh, what? My stomach just sounded like an ox was... A postmate. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, cute. That's cute. What a sweet little goodie bag. I'm going to eat this chocolate right now. I don't know about you. And then once we were done at the studio, Alexi and I stayed at just like a Marriott... I don't know, town suites or some version of a Marriott that was like really close by. Um, it wasn't super expensive and it just like worked out fine because it was close. And then that day was actually National Marguerite Day. So we went to Rose, is it Roseville or Rosedale? Rose something mall and had margaritas. It was great. We also went to Lush in there and uh, there was a bit of a snowstorm. We are back at the hotel very quickly. We've both got our brows done. You want to show your brows? I got them, they're on. Brows on. No more Jesse Plemons. No, we are walking brows first, baby. <laughs> and get a margarita, because it's National Margarita Day. And I'll hopefully film some of it, but probably not. Bye! <laughs>
We are back at the hotel now and I've done a really bad job of vlogging today. I'm gonna try again tomorrow. My brows feel almost like a little warm, but they're not painful. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm in my lentil shirt. Good night. So that was essentially our day as we drove down really early in the morning. We got there about midday, both got our brows done. Then we went and checked into our hotel. We went to the mall, had margaritas and went to Lush. And um, then we went back to the hotel for the night. So I did wash my brows that night um, and put on the um, grapeseed oil like she recommended, went to bed. And then in the next morning, I just washed my face with really gentle soap again, put a little bit of the oil on. And then the only makeup I wore was like a little bit of concealer um, and mascara. I don't think I really did anything else that day just to avoid getting any makeup on them. And they say you should not wear any makeup um, on or near your brows basically until they're healed. So however long that takes you personally. And then that next day we went to to, um, is it French Meadow? A little cafe with um, Ali, which was really nice. We got to have brunch with her and uh, Bloody Marys, mimosas, what have you. Which again was really nice to just hang out with her because she has been like an online friend for years now. So it was really nice to kind of like learn a bit about her business and um, just hang out. So after that, Alexi and I went to <laughs> Ikea. So we're gonna go to Ikea. We're gonna get some shelves and stuff for things to put stuff on. You should just film my vlog for me. <laughs> and then made our way home. Onto the healing portion, I will say I heal, and I always have done, I heal incredibly fast. Even with tattoos, I will be like flaked and done after just a few days, whereas some people it might take like over a week for them to completely flake. I just heal really fast. So I continued with just using a really gentle cleanser and the um, grapeseed oil morning and night. And I did that for probably three or four days. And by that fourth day, I think it was like completely flaked it's really weird because it's it looks like little I don't know little like shreds of skin coming out of your eyebrows because obviously the scab heals in a hair shape and so then when that kind of like flakes off or lifts away it just it looks weird but anyway it only took a few days for that to be completely gone and then I continued with the grapeseed oil for a few more days because I just figured it was a good moisturizer and it was keeping them nice and uh, soft. One thing I will say is directly after they had kind of flaked and all the scabs had come off they did look then a lot lighter and I think probably that's when people panic but then as the days went on probably another four days say they did start to darken up again so I think it's all part of the healing process and you need to not panic immediately after they've like flaked and think like well I don't see anything because they definitely did then slowly darken up over the next few days and I really think it's just how people heal and then today I have no makeup on my eyebrows I'm just gonna separate my bangs a bit like that. So this brow has always been like my good brow. There's no scar through it. It's quite well behaved. And then this one, it does have that scar through it. So I definitely think when I go for the um, touch up, which is in like six to eight weeks, um, this one might just need a little bit more around the scar because I think it didn't take the color quite as well. But I mean, I have no makeup on my eyebrows right now. Those of you who follow me on like, Instagram stories and Snapchat will know that without makeup before I looked a bit like Jessie Plemons um, Which I did love and was actually kind of hard to give up when Alexi was like you realize you're not gonna look like Jessie Plemons anymore Now you've got your brows done. And I was like Am I sure I want to do this? But I did it anyway, and I'm really glad I did because now when I wake up I just have brows and it's it's really lovely. So I'm definitely super happy with them. I'm really happy with the color I went for because I think they um, blend in with my hair. But like when I don't have um, eye makeup on, my lashes are very blonde. So it, they don't look so dark that it looks weird when I don't have any makeup on, but they also aren't so light that they look like they need filling in to like balance things out when I do. So 
I am super happy with how they turned out. The whole experience was really easy. Ali was amazing and I'm super glad I went to her. Her space was beautiful. She seems extremely competent and great at what she does. And um, I'm just super happy I went for her. So please do check her out. I'd said this before, but I would love to be able to like support you guys um, as much as you support me. So definitely like taking people up on learning a bit more about their business is really something that interests me and that I would like to do more of. So please do check her out on Instagram and Facebook. I will link everything below. Like I mentioned, I will probably be going back for a touch up in six to eight weeks. I'm um, guessing Alexia and I will go together again then. So if you guys want me to, I will film an update after that. Um, so leave any questions you might have below. I do think they recommend that once you've done your initial and your touch up that you go back then yearly um, to get things touch up. But I would guess that would depend on how you heal and just what your needs are. But I do think it's something that will work well for me. I typically probably make it down to Minneapolis like once a year anyway. So it will be super easy to just go in for a little top up after a year or so um, if I feel like I need it. I honestly think that if I had somewhere near me that did lash extensions that I knew were like vegan and cruelty free. I would probably get lash extensions and then rarely wear makeup because you just feel done and, and nice. And that's not to say everyone should feel like they have to do this, but for me, it definitely made a big difference in just kind of like framing my face a bit more when I don't have makeup on. I obviously then got bangs so you can't see them <laughs> that well, but if I do have any excess stupid clips of my attempted vlog, I will put them in after this. Um, please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. He really wants to know. I don't know if they wanna come to my me raffle. There's no cover. 38 years. You wanna go? I go to my meat raffle in Minnesota. <laughs> It's not Ikea, but it is pretty cray. Oh, I figured it out. I said it's not Ikea, oh, but it's pretty cray. When I die, I want my casket to be from Ikea. Very scandy. Ikea pro tip, always get a cart because you're going to need something to lean on. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. activities. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> Are you ready to hang with me, baby? Get out! <laughs> <laughs> You just brush your teeth too with soap. I did. I brushed my teeth on accident <laughs> with my new Pacifica. <laughs> just in case. Complete face wash. Yeah. It, um, did it work? The makeup off my face <laughs> and off of my teeth. <laughs>